Good day everyone, I am Jos Ritzman Roman Van, and in this video, I'm going to discuss correlational research design. So, before we begin our discussion about correlational research, we must be able to define first what is correlation, and from there, we will be able to define what is correlational research. So let us define what a correlation is as well as the correlational research. So when we say correlation, this is the statistical relationship between two entities. And from there, we will be able to define correlational research that investigates relationships between variables without the researcher controlling or manipulating any of them. Now, when are we going to use correlational research? So here are the things that we have to consider when are we going to use correlational research. First, to investigate non-causal relationships. So we want to find out if there is any association between two variables without any expecting to find a causal relationship between them. Because correlational research can provide insights into complex real-world relationships despite these two variables having in, uh, no relation at all, we can still find a correlation uh, between this without uh, looking at their causal relationships. Next is to explore causal relationships between variables. So we think that there is any causal relationship between these variables but it may be unethical or it may be too costly especially when we are conducting other research designs that manipulates one of the variables. Lastly is to test measurement tools. So by the time that we have developed a new instrument, of course, we really have to test them for its reliability and validity. And that is by the use of correlational research. There are three types of correlational research that we must always remember or we can always use it to describe the relationship of these variables. First, we have a positive correlational research. Next is we have a negative correlational research. And lastly, we have zero correlational research or no correlation in other sources. So what are the differences among these three? First is when we say positive correlational research or positive correlation, there is an increase in one variable leading to a rise in the other variable. Meaning to say there is either direct correlation or a direct relationship between the two variables. Let's say, for example, if we have height and weight. So as height increases, the weight also increases. And that is an example of a positive correlation in a positive correlational research. Next is a negative correlational research or negative correlation wherein if there is an increase in one variable, it leads to the decrease of the other variable and vice versa. So if the positive correlation uh, infers or pertains to the direct relationship of these variables, negative correlation is the complete inverse of that since it describes the inverse relationship of the two variables. For example, um, the coffee consumption and tiredness. So as we increase the intake of coffee, the tiredness decreases. And lastly, we have zero correlation wherein uh, it's simply there is no correlation between the two variables. For example, there, um, being a millionaire in happiness is not correlated. So an increase in money does not lead to happiness and vice versa. Now, how are you going to use correlational design in your research? According to Form Plus, we can use correlational research with these three ways. First is by naturalistic observation. Next is survey application. And of course, we have documentary research. And those are the things that you have to remember when we are going to use correlational research. If you have any more questions, you may also refer to the references presented. And that's it. I hope you were able to learn from our video discussion.